four athletes who beat breast cancer. Don't let breast cancer steal your fighting spirit. Keeping your determination takes strength, and one way to remember our power is by looking to our heroes. Typically fit and health conscious athletes may seem like the least likely targets for breast cancer, but many notable sports stars have battled breast cancer, and they did so in their own terms. We've assembled four female athletes that exemplify the spirit of survivorship. Each fought their own unique battles on and off the court. We hope their examples will inspire you to keep fighting, even when the road ahead looks dark. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, the company who developed Breast Cancer Index, a test that may help women with ER-positive, early-stage breast cancer decide with their doctors whether to extend or end anti-estrogen therapy after five years. Novlin Williams Mills. This three-time Olympic medalist was diagnosed with breast cancer just days before qualifying for the 2012 Olympics. Despite the devastating news, she still brought home a bronze medal in the 4x400 meter relay. Three days after her podium finish, she underwent a lumpectomy followed by a double mastectomy. While competing at the Olympics, Navleen said her mind was stuck on her cancer. But she fought back with the same determination that won her an Olympic medal. She is currently on track to keeping her titles and is considered one of the top 400 meter relay runners in the world. Martina Navratilova. Martina Navratilova is considered one of the greatest tennis players of all time. After immigrating to the U.S. in 1975, she went on to win 18 Grand Slam single titles and 10 major mixed doubles. But not only that, she also holds the world record for 31 major women's doubles titles. In 2010, Martina revealed her breast cancer diagnosis. She completed her treatment in six months. In the time since her recovery, Martina made her debut on Dancing with the Stars and continues to play tennis and compete in triathlons. Edna Campbell In 2002, Campbell became the first active women's NBA player diagnosed with breast cancer. Her long career of success and incredible determination had made her a role model for young women everywhere. Her cancer diagnosis rocked not only her world, but her fans, as well as the WNBA. Edna joined the USA national team in 1998 after competing in the William Jones Cup twice. She went on to play for seven seasons in the WNBA when in the middle of her career, she discovered her breast cancer. Then in 2002, the same year she was diagnosed, she returned to the court for the Seattle Monarchs final game of the season. After retiring in 2005, her triumphant return from cancer was nominated as the top four WNBA anniversary moments. Campbell went on to found Breathe and Stretch, a restoration program for breast cancer survivors. Dorothy Hamill. Known as America's sweetheart, Dorothy won the Olympic gold medal for women's singles figure skating in 1976, followed by the world championships in Sweden. Her honors include induction into the Olympic and Figure Skating Hall of Fame. She was also selected as a torchbearer at the 2002 Olympics. Hamill reported being devastated over her breast cancer diagnosis in 2008, and after battling the side effects of her treatment, she participated in a study about the effectiveness of anti-estrogen therapies. She now educates women about their options when faced with estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. Living with breast cancer demands the courage, stamina, and perseverance of a professional athlete. But we think every woman facing breast cancer contains the strength to rise above it. It's important to understand that women just like you are fighting alongside the strongest of the strong. To get more practical tips for breast cancer patients, be sure to subscribe to Breast Cancer Answers here and leave your own questions in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer your questions in future videos. Finally, we'd like to thank our sponsor, the company who developed a breast cancer index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond year five, just click the button and download a free list of 15 questions to go through with your doctor.